and we're back. Well-known New York City Indian restaurant Junoon recently hosted the book launch of its globally known head chef Vikas Khanna. His book, Flavors First, is a unique encounter with Indian cuisine as Khanna brings to life the memories of his grandmother's cooking from his childhood years and fuses them with his experiences as a chef in New York City and his culinary encounters around the world. Let's join him and hear what the man himself has to say. The book is called Flavors First. It's dedicated to my grandmother. Because there is a beautiful concept in elders in India, which is they see no strangers. Everybody's theirs. I love that. I still cherish that. Because I had friends who would come spend overnight while you we were traveling, discovering new foods, new careers, you know, new paths, new journeys. And we'll just go home to Amritsar. And when we are leaving, she has packed lunches and dinners for everyone. She was up all night. Like, what gives her the strength? I'd rather go to sleep and pretend I'm sleeping so I don't have to worry about anybody's there. <laughs> but she doesn't want us to eat the food from the trains and she will pack it for everyone. Like, we're talking about 100 rotis for young boys. Six rotis is nothing. <laughs> so my idea was that if I would not tell her story, who would? If I would not tell a story of a generosity and abundance of a spirit, even when there was nothing to share in at home, there was no food at home. This was not a rich family. But she could not understand. Her brain was not, should I say, developed or overdeveloped in a way that she could not figure out the difference who's hers and who's not. Anybody stranger comes and she would always tell us the story. And I would say, BG makes me really sick. And anybody who comes, you have to first go to the kitchen. You can't walk and you have to feed them. And, and she's thinking, you know, I'll tell you a funny story that we had a neighbor and somebody came to, you know, mug her. During the, you know, 84 riots, there was a lot of things. And she says, Puttar, baacho lutli pele khana khana. I said, what kind of story is that? <laughs> oh, you can steal that, whatever you want, but first eat something. And she goes in the kazan, the thing, and she cooks for the thief. And they're all sitting and waiting for the food. And they eat, and then they steal, and then they go home. <laughs> and, and she said, and my question to my neighbor was, that, what did you accomplish? You should have called the police. And, of course, we don't have that kind of thing of 911. But she's saying, you know, what will you steal? At least I felt good that what I was taught, I did that. What he was taught, he did that. I was taught by my mother and my grandparents that when somebody comes home, you have to feed them something. So this representation is of her story and her generosity to understand that even when there's no food, if the spirit is rich, you can still share it. From food to fashion, we bring you to the Runway Princess Fashion Show held at the Hotel Pennsylvania in New York City. The event featured top South Asian designers, models, and celebrities, along with entertainment to match. Some of those in attendance were Pooja Batra, Adnan Siddiqui, Humayun Sayed, and Teen Miss India World, Emily Shah. Let's take a look.
A glamorous night indeed. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Your Voice. This show wouldn't be possible without you and your voice, so let it be heard by emailing us at yourvoice at globosatent.com and visiting us on the web at gen-i.us.com. I'm your host, Juhi Desai, wishing you all a very happy early Thanksgiving. Sahara Pranam.